First Network. Good evening. Tonight in headline news is the continued terrorist bombings. Hi, and I'm uh, reporting it! <laughs> right. Just last month, three bombings occurred. The last one happened last night in Well City. Oh, and wait till you hear how they did it. Attention to all passengers. Due to a magnetic storm, all departures are delayed. We apologize for any inconvenience. This has been an MAA information service. Have a nice day. have determined that these so-called puppet bombs are the work of the same terrorist responsible for previous explosions. The pattern was established after the last incident which took place at Mars Airport. <laughs> Gee, Janet, I hope I won't have to worry about you blowing up. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I do, I'll give you an exclusive. <laughs> Touché. I can't believe that I'm capable of giving birth. Quite a revelation, isn't it? That's the whole purpose of the third types. You can step beyond the bounds of conventional robots just by getting pregnant. Mommy Armitage. Hmm. <laughs> Not funny. It's too weird. But you, what's your role? I'm still trying to figure that out. What's the point in creating a male kit? The CPU showed my serial number as the last third maid. <laughs> The final model off the line. Not quite. We can breed now. Now I understand why the thirds were made to seem so human, not just in appearance, but emotionally. Like the murdered singer and that novelist. They weren't just machines, they had souls. It takes more than the right plumbing to procreate. Yes, sir. The perfect receptacle for human babies. <laughs> what the hell is so funny, huh? Ugh. What's the matter? Have I touched a nerve? Maternal clock ticking? Maybe you'd like Detective Ross to set your alarm. <laughs> Shut up. I was just kidding. Julian, do you know why they made us? I don't. But I'll bet Asakura does. Or... Dan Claude. He must have a part in this. Christ, another bombing. That makes five this month. Uh-huh. So, I guess we'll get stuck with the investigation. Uh-huh. I think it's a pretty crappy deal, if you ask me. After busting ass on this third's case, we gotta drop it all and shift gears. Uh-huh. Huh? Come in, uh -huh. Chris? How are you feeling, Ross? Have you made a full recovery? Yeah, I'm fine. It just takes some getting used to the new body parts. Ironic, isn't it? What? Little by little, you're becoming like the robots you hate so much. Let's get down to business, shall we? Why the new orders? The bombings don't need a full-time investigation. Maybe they do. Some people would think it's justified. It's politics, isn't it? I'll tell you what it is. It's a goddamned order that you're gonna follow. I don't need to explain anything to you. Just do what you're told to. Am I supposed to smile, say yes, sir, and forget what they did? I don't think so. Dan Claude's under full guard. Yeah, right. In a government hospital where we can't touch him. I can't accept the contradictory report that you filed. But, sir... I assure you that Dan Claude is very much alive. If you don't trust me, go and see for yourself. Ironic, isn't it? Little by little, you're becoming like the robots you hate so much. Do you mean the extortionist? He was already 
released. No, no. Rene Dan Claude. Oh, yes, the terrorist. He's still in ICU, I'm afraid. You can't see him yet. So what's his condition like? We have been sending you updates. Yes, but I'd like to know more. Detective, we've given your department as much help as we can. We go through proper channels here. That's how a government-controlled hospital operates. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have someone waiting for me. You've got an impressive security system here. It's the best form of protection from terrorists. Security guards are old news, pal. Huh? Hey, that's Alan. What's that conception PR jerk doing here? That's where all my memory was backed up and stored. I'm saved for posterity. And if we're all murdered, you know what? Will you give it a rest? <laughs> ha! Bingo! Hmm? Warning! Only authorized personnel are permitted within the memory bank I.O. room. Oh. Please vacate this area at once. We're lost. Which way is Magnetic North? There is no department by that name. You must vacate within 10 seconds or... Huh? Asakura was quite a designer. He created the ultimate woman who could kick ass and raise children. He designed you too. <laughs> yeah, but I can't get pregnant. Hmm. That's it. Hmm. Here goes. I hate that this is the easiest way. Hey, I'm doing this for you. It hurts like hell, so shut up. I need to know about myself. Who am I and why? Hmm. I'll look. I'm searching for Asakura's file. Armitage? Huh? Help me out. My virtual monitor. Yeah? Open it from my navigational system. Good, I've located the still image file. Hold on, just another second. <gasps> Dan Claude! I don't believe it. Syllabus here. Where have you been? The lieutenant's pissed. Snooping for information, isn't that what detectives do? On the old case? The reception's breaking up. Huh? Call you later. See ya. Wait! I've got some hot news for you! Well, the board from a puppet bomb that carried the self-explosion program looked identical to a third-type board. Hmm. Why? Why is my daddy standing there with Dan Claude? Uh, 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 Julian! Uh, uh, damn it! I think someone's discovered me! We're logging out now! Uh, hey! Uh, oh god, something's in me! Uh, please help me! <laughs> Little Naomi Armitage. When looking for knowledge, you only found trouble. You can't stop the third types from being killed, my dear. <gasps> Shoot me. I don't mind. Get out! 
Quite a setup you got here. With female robots? Is this your home robotization plan? Looks like illegal application. Who the hell do you think you are? I don't deal with cop trash. Well, dickhead, I left my badge at home, so I'm off duty. Now you say so. So tell me, who the hell's in ICU, huh? Dan Claude. Don't fuck with me, <laughs> asshole! That crazy bastard's out there! No, it's really him. He's Dr. René Dan Claude, originator of the assassin -roid. No way. Then it was a robot who attacked us? Of course he's a robot. His design was based on character data of Dr. Dan Claude. <laughs> Pull the trigger, I dare you! <laughs> so, you're not a man. Are you a third type? Please. You won't find my name in the membership of that club for failures. What do you mean? You make me rich. Cheap imitations pretending to be human. There's no comparison to our superiority. I couldn't agree with humans more on one thing. All thirds should be annihilated. <laughs> we'll kill you! Oh my god! What's wrong? Don't touch me! This thing might infect you! Get back! <gasps> Syllabus here. Hello! Oh, damn thing. Ross, if you can hear me, I need your help! Uh, uh, Armitage. So one of my men got a little carried away. Hmm, well... I'm Judicial Vice Minister Jessup. And? I'm visiting as a representative of the Legal Affairs Bureau. I need an accurate picture of the MPD's operations. I'm just a bit confused. Help me to understand why an inspector from Earth's government has come here, hmm? Oh, don't mind me, Lieutenant. I'm simply an observer for Mr. Jessup. Think of me merely as a fly on the wall. Well, since you're observing, I'm sure you've noticed that the robots here on Mars don't quite reflect a feminist society. Very well. You understand us, uh, Mr. Uh, Randolph. Let's call it a day and have lunch. I'm sick of the whole damn system. Armitage. Didn't Julian say that he had his memory backup stored somewhere? 
The backup? That's right. If we can somehow access his data, we could still bring him back. Get it? His body's gone, but his mind's alive! <laughs> Funny, I didn't think I would miss him so much. Maybe his information will help us in Avenge's death as well. Ross? Hmm? Come with me. Right. Humans don't go where I'm going. Only robots. Sweet time. Julian! Oh, uh, what? I'm glad you're here. Everyone is here. Other thirds. The murdered ones. So many of us are here, we don't suffer from loneliness. A kindred reunion. All of them are my sisters. It's too bad they lack the sufficient data which would enable them to talk. I'm sorry. I feel so helpless. Hey, it's not so bad. I'm actually having fun. You can learn a lot in here. For instance, I've got the lowdown on Dan Claude now. Do you mean the original one? Yes. He and Asakura developed all the third types. Then, do you know where they are now? Well, Asakura's files have been completely erased. But I know where Dan Claude is. Shinora? Right where he's been all this time. You should go now. If you stay too long, you might not get back. I'll return, I promise. Okay. I'll be waiting. What's up? The internal troops are active. Are we at war? No. They're guarding. What, the president? No. Shinora Hospital. Shinora? <laughs> Jesus H. Christ, will you look at that arsenal? What the hell are they doing there? Hold on a minute. I'm picking up something. What is it? Ah, uh, it's just a car. Huh?
Finally, the real Dan Claude, or should I say, Dr. Rene Dan Claude. Hmm. You must be Asakura's daughter, the failure. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta hurry! Come on! Let's go while we still can! <gasps> What's the matter? Ross? Something's coming. What is it? tell when you're gonna do something crazy. Hi, kid. Oh, does she want a showdown? We'll both go down fighting. That'll make everyone happy, cause you know, nobody on Mars wants us here. <laughs> Wrong! I'll have the last laugh! <laughs> oh! We can no longer return to the city. 
First they denied us life. Then they tried to erase our past. But I'm not gonna run. I'm staying right here. Armitage the Third, Episode Four, Bit of Love. Ross, we're not gonna die this time, are we?